Hey, this is Matt. Um, this is going to be a really quick video. Um, I'm in the middle right now of shooting my uh, power tube comparison video, and I just wanted to do a really quick demo of what biasing an amplifier sort of looks like. It's very, very simple, um, so long as you know um, exactly what you're doing. But in this case, I am. I've just shot footage for my EL34s. So nextly, I'm gonna. Uh, next, I'm gonna be doing my E34Ls. Um, I set the bias to 40 milliamps for the EL34s. So I'm anticipating on the, the uh, E34Ls to be a little bit different. So I might have to adjust the bias between these tubes. So I'm gonna flip the standby switch off and we're going to see what I have for bias. Whoops, wrong switch. So my amp is on. Okay, it's a bit hot. We're running about 58, roughly 58 milliamps. So we want to be down around 40. So I'm going to take my screwdriver, in this case a knife, I'm going to come in behind the amp here and behind the back and get this settled into the adjustment pot. Go slightly clockwise to see what it does. So it's going to bring it down to about 47.1. So we want to go a little bit more. very, very slight adjustments with this. Like you hardly have to turn the knob at all for it to change. So now we're down to 44. A little tiny bit more. 43. Forty-one, almost there. All right, so we're about at forty point three. Come back over there. It's always best, perhaps, to let the tubes probably. Uh, warm up and cook for a few minutes before you um, decide that your bias is set. I've actually had this amp on and off a couple of times with the EL34s in there. I had it set to 40 milliamps and then after a few minutes of... Actually, I think the amp was just left on the entire time, but when I started playing um, through it like this, it actually started hovering down around 37, so I turned it up slightly. Um, to try to get to 40. So um, give your give your tubes a few minutes to do what they're going to do. When you first turn it on, it'll it'll fluctuate a little bit, and then um, just walk. Just be patient, watch it, and be steady. And uh, don't don't bias your tubes too hot. Make sure you know what your your range is, and make sure you bias your amp because as as you can see, um, just switching between these two tubes. Um, was quite a bit of difference, and especially if you throw something like 6L6s uh, in there, those tubes are going to run especially hot, and you could fry those amps very, uh, fry those tubes very easily. So um, you never want to run them at their peak. You want to go a little bit below. So hopefully this is just a little short video on biasing, and yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.